Welcome back to Wildflowers. My favorite game, probably. <laughs> um, today... Oh god, I was so scared I effed something up. I just have to get water. I forgot about that little detail. Uh, today, we are gonna be becoming a witch, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully. Do I want to be a witch? I don't know. I'm kinda scared. But, we have uh, this thing. We have to read something our grandma gave us while standing next to the silver tree in the woods. Show hint. It's the biggest tree in the woods. <laughs> okay, so let's go there. <gasps> Yay! For squirrels! Peanuts! Oh, I really hope there are squirrels here. That would be so cute! Imagine having a pet squirrel and that kitty cat. I wonder if you can adopt the cat later on when you are friends maybe what are you doing here hi are you settling in okay i'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone well take your time a new town can be overwhelming and some of the folks here are a little <laughs> more overwhelming than others <laughs> thanks linda no is her name linda or lena oh how can i check that here um lena that's a beautiful name okay so this should be the biggest tree right yeah <gasps> oh i'm becoming a witch uh let's see <laughs> the inscription says if i be worthy ancient tree give a silver branch to me hmm. my first wand Please? I mean, I don't know if there are more wands. Wow! I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree. Thank you. So what can I do with that? Show grandma the wand. 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 <laughs> I'm Harry Potter! Hee <laughs> hee! Uh, what's this? Okay, so that. I have to gather these things. Oh, oh my god, is this their favorite things? Oh, oh, and you can see the... How long do they work here? <gasps> and a story about them. Amira is a town doctor. She's confident, stylish and outgoing. Maybe the most magnetic person to ever walk this island. Yeah, I said she was very beautiful. So he owns a bakery. Uh... Angus is Fairhaven's baker and Francis' fiance. Who is Francis? His puns are as bad as his cakes are delicious. <laughs> he radiates sunny positivity. Oh, Bruno is Otto's dad. Who is Otto? Hold on. Who is Otto? Oh, he's the mayor's dad. And where is Francis? I don't see Fra Oh, this guy. Okay. Otto's dad and the owner of Bruno's bait and tackle. He's a crusty old man of the sea. Crusty? Is that an insult? Also, he likes going to the bar. A lot. <laughs> Cameron... Uh, I don't know what he owns. I don't know how to call this. Messenger, me messenger Cameron Connor is the leader of the League of the Conscious Mind. He's charming, attractive and... Are people like this even allowed to be messengers? Cat! <laughs> oh, so this is probably their favorite things because I'm assuming this is milk and these are two types of fishes, probably. Friendly yet mysterious cat. Does he belong to anyone? Sorry about this weird cut. I heard something downstairs and I had to check if someone is here. <laughs> okay, where was I? Uh, Damon is the owner of Only Bar. That's it, I know about him. Emmy is the daughter of Lena and Parker and Finn's twin. Mischievous and inventive Emmy is the older twin. Older twin? By second? <laughs> the fact she likes to tell everyone around. Okay, Finn loves pulling pranks almost as much as he loves animals. Francis! Oh, he runs a jewelry store right next to his fiance. 
He's bright, creative and hasn't lost any of his city slickers. Slicker items, I don't know. Grandma! And her farm are the reason you are here. You hadn't seen her for 20 years, but fortunately things are different now. Juliet, she's so cool! Is the daughter of Sophia and the recently deceased... Oh no! I can't pronounce this, sorry. She's shy and easily embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> that's me! But a talented guitarist and painter. Oh well, that's not me. <laughs> Kai. Runs the pop-up. Novelty stall in the town square. Okay. When he's not working, he's surfing or just relaxing. Kim. Kim Izumi came to Fairhaven a year ago to open a butcher's shop. They're guarded and aloof. <laughs> but what's under that tough exterior? What does aloof mean? Lena runs the general store. Runs the general store alongside her husband Parker. She's also the mother of twins Emmy and Finn. <laughs> She's uh, dependable and professional. Lena used to babysit you when you were little. Oh, Natalia. Is a town blacksmith. She's strong, capable and cheerful, but she seems down on herself a lot. Mayor Otto is the mayor of Fairhaven and Vanessa's husband. He seems friendly, but how much of that is a front? <gasps> He's mean! Is he? <laughs> Parker. Moved to Fairhaven after marrying Le Lena to help her run the general store. Since then, they've had two children. Okay, like Lena, Parker is composed and competent. Sebastian. Violet's brother. Wait, who is Violet? Oh, this girl! He works in Sophia's diner in the afternoons. Sebastian seems eager to get off Fairhaven and explore the rest of the world. Shall we? Is <laughs> uh, a mysterious man who lives in the woods outside of he Fairhaven. Most people don't know what to make of him. Maybe you'll find clues. Mm -hmm. Sophia is warm, chatty, pro I don't know, of the town diner. Oh, propertyor. <laughs> she owns the diner as well as Juliet's mother. She specializes in Italian Jewish, Jewish dishes. Okay, this guy was mean to me. Thomas owns the farm next door. He, seemed, he keeps to himself which some folks view as suspicious. But his neighbors, like Hazel, know his quiet, quiet delight. I don't know about that. Vanessa is the only teacher at Fairhaven's only school. <laughs> as, Otto's wife's, as, as Otto's wife, she's the first lady of Fairhaven. A position suited for to her polished, sophisticated persona. Violet is Sebastian's sister and owner of the flower shop. Oh, so she owns that. She's excitable and as colorful as and lively as her name. Cute! Um, for those of you who listened to all of this that I read, I'm very sorry. My English is bad, but thank you for saying. <laughs> oh, let's pet cat. That's a Aww, male cat? Was a good kitty. I think it said that it's a male cat. Mm. I kinda thought it was gonna be like mine. I once had a black cat when I was very little. Actually, my brother had him. Uh, his name was Garfield. Okay, mm, let's talk to Grandma. Hi! Uh, I got a wand. Is your wand ready? Yes, look. Careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Okay. Sure, let's go. I don't know if that's... Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. <clears throat> So this incantation helps it to identify you once it meets you. 
It'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Okay. Say the spell when you're ready. Uh, okay. I'm ready. <laughs> a friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Yay! I'm a friend. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. Oh. <gasps> wow. Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this Coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. Oh wow, what's that? I got something. Speak to Farseer to begin learning magic. New recipe. Boost harvest potion. <gasps> oh! Ooh! Okay! This is so cool! <laughs> okay, so I have to talk to him. Can I explore a little bit just before that? I kind of want to see what else you have here. My grandma is resting. Oh, she's tired probably. Wow, oh, I'll probably be here soon. Cauldron! <laughs> Hello! Hey! You can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you. But I'm not supposed <clears throat> to speak to you much yet. Oh, the, okay. Well, it's probably all of them then. I'll just speak to this guy then. Hi! Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer. That's me. No, I'm nearsighted. Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You have no idea who I am? I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up, and there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Mm, yeah. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think <laughs> it's me for listening to you. Uh, okay. Weird. Uh, can I talk to someone? Hi! I'm kinda yelling, I'm sorry. Hey! Welcome to the Bad Lion in Great Costumes Club! We meet every night! Who this, does she think this is? I don't know. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, High Priestess. How long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here. And because mm -hmm. of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. The I need my paper. was the last witch initiated into our order. She can help guide you. Okay, so that's this girl, I think. Hello. I welcome you to this gathering. Adept. 
Welp. Okay. I need to make paper. Hmm. So wood and I have to... Oh, hello. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, such a pretty girl. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go home then. Okay, so what's the time? Oh my god, it's almost midnight. Oh, I should get to bed soon. <gasps> Hi. Hello. So, when did you and Grandma start trying to outbake each other? We'd appreciated each other's skills ever since I moved here. That was, what, 17 God. years ago. <laughs> but when Giacomo was diagnosed, Hazel formally challenged me to a bake-off. She said it'd take my mind off things. Aww. And, you know, she was right. So, that's her husband that died, sadly. And her daughter is Juliet, I think. Okay, so... Hmm, this is probably the shed. How do I make a thing for paper? Oh. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Oh, nice. So Thanks, that's... Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but... I'll try for us. Okay, let's see. So, paper press. There we go. A device that presses wood into paper. I need six wood for that. Candle maker! <gasps> Candles out of beeswax, soy milk, or animal fat. Oh no, please don't make me do that to animals. Juice press. Oh wow! This is so cool! Vine cheese, beer... <gasps> okay, let's... let's... uh, how do I exit? <laughs> Can you pass out in this game like in Stardew? In... yeah, Stardew. <laughs> okay, let's go! Three! I need six, I think. Can I get rid of this? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is that... Do I have six now? Hold on. Seven! Yes! Let's go! Paper press! Okay. Paper! Uh... Oh, I can move it. Hmm. Kind of want it here. Here. That's fine. <gasps> Try to get bed to bed on time or you might get sick. So it is like Star Stardew, where you have to go to bed by 2 a.m. <laughs> I could play Stardew again, why not? Oof. I should get myself to bed earlier today. Yeah, sorry. Um, hello. Uh, let's see, is the potato done yet? <laughs> and here you can see how much water you have. Oh, that's so cute! I could fill it up. Can I make more of these? What can I make? Compost bin. Turn turns weed into soil for new garden beds. <gasps> oh. How do I get weed? I need more wood. Oh, this is weed. Okay. More wood, please. I think I need a lot of wood because I need wood for paper. And for stuff. <laughs> I don't need rocks. But I'll take them. Just in case. How do I gift something to someone? Oh my god, I don't have any energy. <gasps> oh no! How much do I have? Inventory. Seven. I could make... I could make that compost thing. Okay. 
compost bin. There. I could put it here. I think that's fine. What does this mean? I'll just leave it. <laughs> okay. Um, what's next on my agenda? Uh, let's see. Eat something. Oh yeah, I can eat something. Apple pie. Wait. Oh yeah, the grandma gave, gave it back to me. Okay, uh, I could eat apple pie. That's full energy. Wow, almost full. Okay. Welp. Let's continue. <laughs> Mouse. What's this place? Okay. How much do I have? Hello, mouses. Ah, I see you found the barn. Oh. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. Or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. Aww. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens, and they kept getting picked off. I oh chopped God. up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Well, I'm sure we could, but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. Uh, if Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then... Fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Mm hmm. Okay, I have to talk to her. See, a bit of food is all oh. you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. Mm -hmm. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. <clears throat> Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Yeah. Ah. Is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at <laughs> my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on, try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Ooh. That sounds tasty. Buy rice and collect mushrooms too. Ah, oh, so I can make that. Okay. Um, shouldn't mushrooms be around here somewhere? I didn't see any. Maybe up here? No. Oh, there we go. Mushies! I'll take this all as well. Why not? Okay, so I have to go... Uh, hold on. I have to see if she's even working anymore. General store, 5 p.m. On a Friday? Hold on. On a Friday, 5 p.m. Okay, so we have time. I can go buy rice. Oh, where is Grandma going? She's going on an adventure! Oh, it's gonna close almost. Please make it. <gasps> Ten minutes. Run. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's 5 p.m. No. I'm here. Oh, yes. I can buy, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Rice. <laughs> One. Oh, strawberries. Sweet potatoes. Eggs. Flour. <laughs> I want everything. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got the rice. I should have bought more. I just got one. Okay, so I'm gonna make the 
rice mushroom risotto and then I'm gonna make paper no wait first I'm gonna make paper that's closest <laughs> hello oh no here paper craft he said two papers right yeah okay and I need to make this as well they said I need these Soil. Craft. There we go. Two days remaining. Oh. 23 hours. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> and let's make the risotto. Um, where is it? Hey, I don't see it anywhere. What? How do I make it? Hold on. I can't make it. Why can't I make it? Am I... Coconut rice? That's not it. I have a coconut? <laughs> no. I don't have a recipe for that. Hello? Excuse me? Where is my grandma? Okay, what else can I do? Give the paper to Farseer. Let's do that. It's kinda late. But hopefully I can make it. Can you get a horse in this game and then go kinda faster? Or a bike? That would be so cute. Okay, we are in the woods. <clears throat> Take the peanuts for the squirrels, maybe? Kitty cat! Hi! Pet. We have the same eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, give the paper. Hi, Grandma. I can't make the risotto. Why can't I? I'm not one to mind rules. But... You should keep away from the standing stones. You're not ready for that yet. These ones? I made it. Great. Just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations are spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. <laughs> I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. I already have one. <laughs> That's so lucky. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Uh, I got your fish. Go speak with Elder Hazel. She'll mm. teach you all about the magic you'll need to write your incantation. Come okay. back to me when you're done. Why can't I give him the fish? Go speak. Come back to me. Okay, so I have to talk to my grandma. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring. 
to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh, no. No, no, the coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring. The source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. What should I give it? Uh, maybe Moonflower? Whoa! So now I can cast spells? Cool! Careful! We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. Mm, what happens okay. if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron. And we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. Hmm, okay. Uh, can I give it to him now? I got your squid. Oh, ho, ho. There. Look at those beautiful squid. Good work, novice. So, when you finish your lunch, can we get back to incantations? No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink, and squid ink is the best. Uh, you could have said so. I just did. Now, you'll need a desk. Set it up in your sanctum. Ah, that's your basement. You wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half-written incantations. Once you've got your ink, there's a couple more things you'll need. Come back here, and I'll give them to you. Okay. Now, the first here says to build a desk in your sanctum. They sure do have a lot of requests. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Welp, I'll do that. Okay, so we go to basement. And then here. He said I need a desk, right? Oh, I need more wood. Wow, can I make something here? Mandrake and... Oh. Apply this potion to plants to get more produce. <gasps> Oh! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cool! Can I make it now? Coconut rice, no! Mushroom risotto! Fish fingers. In the case, this symbol can be substituted with different items. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't make it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go. I'm sleepy. Yeah. <sighs> Tomorrow we are gonna gather some wood. Saturday. My favorite day of the week. <gasps> I think potatoes are done. Oh good, oh. you're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss <clears throat> about this time. Do you mm -hmm. think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I need my potatoes. I better follow Grandma to the town hall. Okay. Let's go, Grandma. Let's go. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Okay, so she teleports. I can probably go there by myself. 
I don't think the game wants you to really wait on her like that. Oh, but it's not open. Oh. Settle down, Maybe everyone. Not. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah, and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset. Yes, yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause. We must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and unsavory types. I ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his... Fancy britch's wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors. To be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? <laughs> oh, heavens no. <laughs> but if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, okay. So she's angry. <laughs> oh well, uh, I turned on my air conditioner or however it's called, I don't know. Uh, so I really hope you can't hear that. But anyways, if you can, I'll just try to edit that. <gasps> my potatoes! And my soil! Oh no. Oh well. I'll I'll plant the things for Oh what was his name? I forgot. Oh I forgot. What's he called? The guy. <laughs> uh can I make can I make more of these? No, I need soil. Well, I'm gonna do some rearrangements. I could put this here. Well, there we go. Um, I need to put a potion on this thing. Hold on. Hold on, Grandma. I'm busy. Uh, can I make more? Yeah! Let's go! Hello! I made the potatoes. Uh, and risotto. I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. I and potatoes. Thank you enough for helping out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest? Mm hmm. I already got them. Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Ooh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb mm -hmm. than you thought. Thanks. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. Okay. Thank you. And I'll make the risotto. I was like, why can't I make it? And I forgot that she actually has to give it to me. <laughs> Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. Thanks. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Well, I didn't. But uh, I can make it later. <clears throat> okay, so let's go sell the potatoes. Okay, go, 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 go. Hi, I have some things to sell. Oh, she has jam. Um, potatoes. Sell everything. Yes. 
these items are now available for purchase. Ooh. Oh, but I can't. I need to make a desk. <laughs> I just sold my first crop. Yay. Okay. I'm too excited. <laughs> no, wait. Grandma. I need to tell you something. <laughs> I sold potatoes. Lena bought the potatoes just as you said. Oh, here's the money, Grandma. Ah, I won't hear of it. Oh, thank God. You did all I really the need that money. You deserve the reward. But Grandma, I... I mean it. If you want to keep fixing things up around here, you'll need all the cash you yeah. can get anyway. Buy some more seeds. If we keep the fields planted, we'll always have a way to make ends meet. Well, okay. But only because I'm going to use the earnings to help the farm. Yes, let's go. Okay. Uh, go. Go, 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 go. Desk. Can I make it? Yes. Okay. Um, where do I want it? Here. Mm. Oh, I could. There. What can I make? Black ink. Squid. Or coal. Ooh. Okay. I made black ink. What now? Okay. Um. So now we go tell them that. Is the thing done? Oof. So close. Okay. I'm gonna go fishing first. And then I'm gonna go... Tell him I made a table and ink. I made it in advance because I'm assuming when you go say you built a table, he's gonna say, well, you need to make ink now. So I already made it. Also, I still don't know who she thought he was. Maybe Bruno? Who knows? Okay, let's go to the beach. I don't know what I need to catch. But I know it's supposed to be on the beach and I need to make... I need to fish it with fish. <laughs> oh. If you want to catch a sea bass, don't reel this small common fish. Oh. Fight! Yes! There you go. Okay, now I need to find Bruno. Oh, now we are gonna see if he's the Farseer. Because I think Farseer is in the woods now. Because it's nighttime. Oh, so it's not him. Hmm. A fish, the fish. <laughs> oh, would you look at that beauty? What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> nah, smelling like cut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Mm. Speaking of bait, here's some more. Thank. I've given you three different kinds of bait. Give them all a try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling. Oh. Fish stew. Okay. Um, we need more magic. Hello. I made a desk. All right, I think I've walked you through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, mm. this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the offering in the other hand. That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then, the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation <laughs> do? That's not for me to discuss. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um... Can I make it or am I gonna need something else? 
Oh, maybe it's gonna cost. I don't really have money. Oh no. Oh, my potion is done. Yay. Um. <gasps> I can make it. I made it. Ooh, I can't wait for tomorrow. Let's go to sleep now. Is it time for bed? Yeah, I know. <sighs> Sunday. Sundays are the days that my videos are coming out. <laughs> so I really like Sundays as well. Okay, uh, I have to talk to Grandma about something. <laughs> Grandma, I've been... um. I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit <laughs> of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more <clears throat> garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. Oh, I'm and already on you'll it. you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Oh, we need to make... Oh, I need to make three garden beds. Okay, 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 okay. No worries there. Collect potatoes. Okay, so now I can... Plant these. <laughs> Put my potion on them. Uh oh. <gasps> Hi. Oh, hey there, kitty. Do you belong to my grandma? Oh, please adopt her, please. Oh, oh. you're a good kitty. Grandma, you didn't tell me you have a cat. A cat? <laughs> the last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This <sighs> cat isn't yours? <laughs> she seems awfully familiar with your garden. <laughs> oh, no. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice. Okay. Why can't we adopt her? I want a cat. Okay, and put the potion. Boost harvest. Then boost harvest. <laughs> oh, they're grown. Oh no, they aren't. Four days. Okay, is this done? Yay! Can I make more? Yes! Everything is going according to the plan. Garden bed. Oh, oh, I need wood. Okay, I can make that. Um, wood. <gasps> More weeds. More weeds. Hey, kitty cat. Oh, what are you doing? Let's pet her. Hey there, kitty. Oh. Best sound in the world. Cats purring. <laughs> I miss my cat, she's sleeping. <laughs> she doesn't want to hang out. Um, okay, more wood. I think I'm gonna need a lot of wood. This should be fine for one garden bed. I can only make one. So for garden beds, you need one soil and ten. Yeah. I need more wood! One soil and ten wood. Okay. I need to remember that. Or write it down. <laughs> okay. Oh, so many weeds! <gasps> so many! We are gonna be able to do... To make so much garden beds <laughs> with these weeds okay bam it's also so convenient that you can just hop over the fence <laughs> okay garden bed now i can make it there we go another cutscene Don't in my garden the soil too tight now you'll choke the seedlings oh hello thomas 
I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big clumpy boots like you city folk. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <gasps> Get a <laughs> tea! Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. Mm -hmm. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. He's nice. Okay, well, let's plant them. There. I'm gonna need more water. Okay, fill it up. Also, what are my other quests? Okay, we can do this. Make garden beds. Well, I don't have any more quests. Need to go to the beach, gather some things. And my main quest. And that's all. Hmm. Oh, is Linda? Is Lina <coughs> a part of the witches? She could be. I'm sure Thomas is as well. Oh, they're not here. Oh well. Can I make something here? Nope. <laughs> okay, well then, we can go... Everything I need is on the beach. He needs headings. Where do you get them? Ocean. Okay. I need one seaweed and two seashells. So, yeah, we need beach. I'm wondering if my inventory can take everything or is there a limit? <gasps> I got two seashells and one... What was this? Seaweed? Now I can do both of these. Let's go. And now I need to fish for three herrings. There is one fish here. Let's see. A uh, cricket. An insect you can find in the woods. Use it as bait to catch certain kinds of fish. Can't you catch it? Maybe you need to shift your perspective. What does that mean? You need to press shift. Oh, got one. Let's hope this is a heading. Is it? Stone. Nope. Let's try out some other spaces. He has everything on his farm. I want a farm like that. Oh, I can fish here. Oh, let's go. Um, chub, maybe? Okay. Let's see here. So we don't want a small one to bite, right? Gotcha! I'm, oh god, I was pressing shift <laughs> and sticky keys came out. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a squid. I don't need that. How do I catch this chub? Oh, <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go for all achievements and all everything. Okay, well, let's go here then. <laughs> Maybe this is gonna help? This looks like chub. Let's try out the worm. Okay, easy chub. Nope. Oh, come on! <sighs> it's so cute that she's singing oh, yeah. while fishing. Oh, no luck. Welp. Let's try here. I'm all out of strength. Oh no. I could eat some food. Okay. Well, we can do that. 
tomorrow then. For now, I need to find Amira, I think it was. And who was it? Sophia and Amira. Okay. I hope it's not too late to find them. What's this thing? Beach weed. We need that. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go. So he had horses. Is this the horse area? Maybe that means we can buy a horse. If he gets them again. Please, Amira and Sophia. Are they here? No, it's too late, I think. Oh well. Maybe the... Is she working still? No. Okay. Well, we are gonna give them tomorrow that. Those things. Now we go to the woods. And become a witch. Ooh, let's get these. My grandma loves the tea from these guys. <laughs> it's probably giving you energy or something like that. Okay, uh, I think I need to talk to this one. Nope. To you? Hello. Oh, 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 Good job! Thanks. You made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations anytime you please. But for this one, you'll need the whole coven. Mm. Now take this over to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Okay. Let's go. I'm excited. Have you the incantation for the initiation, right? Yep. Yes, it's ready. Good. <clears throat> Initiate Tara, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She mm. must be the one to cast it. Mm, okay. Here's the initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family for generations, and it is our custom to pass it on at the time of initiation. Go ahead. Try them on. The robes? <gasps> yes! Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, like all before you, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel... taller. <laughs> yeah. That was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side and... <laughs> wanted to appear more regal so she <laughs> spelled the robes then the other witches got jealous and we might be magical but we're still human elder hazel initiate tara take your places for the right initiate you seek new knowledge but with it comes a sacred duty who brings forth this initiate to join our coven i do as the great wheel turns so must we take our part here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow. Enter our circle, for this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into her power. Oh. You are ready. Return tomorrow and we will continue your training. Nice. You're a witch, Tara. Cast the initiation right. I got an achievement. <gasps> Yay! What did they get? Summon small things. Speed boost. Oh, let's go. Nice. Okay. Well... This is gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you liked it. I love playing this game. And thank you for watching. And if you liked it, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!